Hello, everybody. We hope your journey so far in our class has been fun. Today, our team will present on Sophie Hyde. Hyde was born in 1977 in Adelaide, Australia. Following her love of film theory right after high school at Flinders University, she has become a renowned director and producer. Her works focus on provocative and intimate drama as well as documentaries. She is currently the recipient of the Sydney Meyer Creative Fellowship and Screen Australia's Feature Enterprise Program. Out of 21 nominations worldwide, she has won eight awards. The most prestigious is the Sundance Film Festival's Directing Award in 2014 for 52 Tuesday. This film has also brought her global recognition within the industry as an Australian female producer. In terms of the story and characters of her works, Hyde was particularly interested in seeing a family that felt similar to the families that she knows. She was also interested in the tension that exists between being a mother and being herself. Hyde came from a queer family. Her dad came out as gay since she was very little. Her parents were married and made the decision together to live their lives very openly, to not hide and to strongly stay true to who they are. So her personal experience growing up in that environment and now a single parent influenced the themes of her works, especially how a mother who is also a man needs to find and confirm that part of himself. Australian producer received government support to make films because the market is too small for them to generate enough income domestically to make quality work. So as an Australian female filmmaker, Hyde has funding from local as well as international sources to ensure that the Australian voice continue to speak. In an interview with The Guardian, Hyde believes that having female directors before her really pushed her to continue pursuing a career in this industry when she was younger. My Last 10 Hours With You was released in 2007 and was Sophie Hyde's first film. The film is about two lovers, Jeremy and Mark, who only have 10 hours to spend with each other before they must go their separate ways. While the main characters identify as gay, the focus is not on their sexuality, but rather on the love, passion, and sadness that they both experience as they get ready to leave each other. This is common in a lot of Hyde's work. She likes to create stories involving LGBTQ characters, but writes them in a way that normalizes their experiences and helps the audience move away from the heteronormative framework that we are so used to. The next three films that I will talk about are Hyde's most recognized ones. The first one is Necessary Games. This film once again shows Hyde's artistic uniqueness in that it is made up of three different dance works that convey intimacy and human connection between three sets of people. The cool thing about using three different pieces is that each one tells a different version of how we connect with each other, depending on who we are and where we are in our lives. This theme of human connection and interaction is definitely a key theme to most of Hyde's films. Like my last 10 hours, Life and Movement also focuses on the loss of a human being, but this time through death. It documents the life of a choreographer who is struck and killed by a truck in the middle of the night. In the film, her friends contemplate complex subjects such as grief, mortality, and death. Finally, in 2013, Sophie Hyde released her most critically acclaimed film, 52 Tuesdays. This film perfectly exemplifies some of Hyde's unique trademark elements in terms of both content and structure. In terms of structure, it is unique in that it was actually filmed only once a week on Tuesdays for a year and scripted as they went along. This helped make the story seem more authentic because we could actually see the characters physically transforming as the movie went along. This was key because the movie is all about changing and finding oneself in every way possible, whether that be sexually, emotionally, or any other way. With this said, in terms of content, 52 Tuesdays utilizes most of the themes that I mentioned in the previous slides namely LGBTQ experiences, human connection, and finding oneself. I think that it's safe to say that Sophie Hyde likes to tackle some pretty important subjects in all of her films and creates them in a way that feel both creative and authentic. After watching 52 Tuesdays, our group has come up with some topics for discussion that will help enhance our understanding of the film. 
We sincerely hope that you guys will spend some time and answer these three questions. What does it mean to be a woman? What did you discover about gender? What is the significance of the new segments that happen as transitions between the weeks? Lastly, we want to say thank you so much for listening, and we hope you enjoyed the film as much as we did.